How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. I'm here on location in Sydney, Nebraska at my oldest daughter's house. Uh, we drove out here, it took us uh, two days and so uh, we're waiting for my other daughter to give birth and birth is looking to be imminent uh, any day now. Uh, so as soon as we hear from her we're gonna drive north to Montana and then we'll spend a few days up there with her. So that's uh, where I'm at. The weather's beautiful here, so it's it's it, it's way nice. Uh, so <laughs> we're really liking that. Anyway, uh, the scribes, uh, thank you everybody uh, for your support. Uh, they are all gone. They were all gone within 12 hours after the last video went up. Uh, I was absolutely amazed. Uh, folks are really liking those. It's, and people are still wanting them. So I'm going, to, if, if you want one, uh, make sure you email me, like I said before. Email me, get the details. And what I'm going to do is I'm building up a list so I can know how many I need to make. Uh, when I get home, in a week and a half or so, I will uh, be making those. And I'm making dovetail cutters also. I'm going to be quite busy, it looks like, uh, for several weeks after I get back. Uh, so thank you again uh, for your support. Uh, this is a, these are a nice product uh, for, uh, as a gift to you, everybody uh, who is supporting me. I, they, I'm really happy with them. Uh, and I, I, the few people who have already got them and the emails express that they, they like them a lot. So. I just want to say thank you, uh, thank you to everyone for your support. And I sent one to Hukar in, uh, in Iceland. So, uh, thank you Hukar, you, you're amazing. Uh, I, I would love to visit Iceland one day. I've had several friends who've went, been there and uh, how beautiful they say it is and uh, seeing things, seeing things on TV, uh, I'd love to visit there. Anyway, uh, I got some video for you for the scribes and turret action, uh, explaining some of the tools and, and uh, showing you, start showing you uh, making of the scribe. Uh, this part is about the, the body part of the scribe. Uh, well, part one of the body part, I should say. Uh, so we'll, we'll get going on that. And uh, of course, I made a few mistakes in that video. Uh, I think I said it was 30 seconds to turn that part but it's like a minute and 45 seconds I can't talk I can't even remember things so anyway uh, it, uh, it, it they come out really nice so uh, please enjoy and we'll be uh, getting back from you I think I'll shoot a location in the Montana uh, on my way north up to Montana actually I'm gonna stop by and see Matt Torno he uh, lives in Montana and we're gonna stop in and, and see Matt and he, he he uh, picked up a scribe, so we're, I'm going to hand deliver that to Matt, and uh, you can see how somebody, somebody, somebody's reaction of how they like it or not. So, uh, Matt will be seeing you in a couple days. So, thanks everybody, and thanks for the support, and enjoy the video. Here we have the tool, dual tool post slide mounted on the lathe. The carriage has been rolled out of the way by sitting down here on the far end of the lathe. And we have the turret right here. This is how it works. Simple, pretty simple, right? Back and forth. So it's lever action, back and forth. What I have set up here is a small parting tool. This is for a brown and sharp screw machine, the little parting tool holder. This is the parting tool, but it's the opposite. Uh, this one has a parting tool on the left hand side. This one has a parting tool on the right hand side. So it goes to a brown and sharp screw machine. And what I did is I, they, they have a nice uh, 90 degree angled uh, keyway or uh, to fit in a slot, I should say, uh, key on it and a, for a bolt. And what I did is I made a mount for it. To, so it could fit it in the tool post. 
here's the mount for the parting tool. It's all one piece of steel. Uh, I made it from an old uh, piece of square axle from an old trailer. A very nice steel. Uh, very nice stuff actually to work with. It must have been heat treated uh, so much, and but it's not too hard to cut. The machine's really nice. Anyway, so I made this with a key in it for 90 uh, slot in it for that to sit in. And then I made a shoulder bolt so that that locates very accurately. I could take it off and put it back on. It's going to be in the same place. Yeah, so this came out really nice. And I have it uh, clamped into the tool post. And then I adjusted the the height of the parting tool by sliding it in and out a little bit. I only had to move it a little bit. I, I, I made some pretty accurate measurements to gauge how much to mill out and to get this height right for this parting tool. And I, I just had to slide it in and out a little bit to get it right on. Center. Now on the other side, this other tool post, I have a high-speed steel tool I ground and it's in upside down so I don't have to change the rotation of the lathe and I can part come in and part it off and then I can come over here and face it off so I have a really nice smooth end on the on the workpiece to get rid of that nub this is a brass in here right now now with this I did do some fine tuning and I put a shim underneath uh, the tool to get it right on center. Just a little bit of playing around. This is a nice little little hint. If you have a buy a cheap uh, uh, feeler gauge, uh, so you and take it apart, <laughs> and then you know, like I have it just on a shower ring here, and I use them as shims uh, for setup and stuff. Uh, you know, you can probably get one of these for I don't know two three bucks at a flea market or or something and, and just take an old set and and you take it apart and then you can use each one as separate shims and for this type of thing here they work extremely well they're long enough and wide enough that you, for especially for tools like this and uh, you can fine-tune your setup now for the turret setup we have we have a spotting drill in here for you know spotting the center and then we have and we'll we come back. Then we have a tap drill size for five eighths. I mean, not five eighths. Five sixteenths, twenty four. Now we're gonna. What we do is here. We're going in and drilling that one inch deep. Then we're coming in and drilling two and a half inches deep with a size 20 drill. That's just a clearance drill for the piece that's uh, sliding down inside there. Uh, now I'm not going to be able to turn it. See I have to drill that hole for it to release the turret uh, to swing again so in demonstration here it's a little difficult so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the workpiece back so I could slide that in there and everything just clears this is a uh, pretty tight here then we have a 5 16 24 tap in here now this tap uh, came from James Kilroy and I have uh, a box of these things so I took one of them and I ground is they were spiral point taps and I ground the tip of it off down so there's just a tiny bit of spiral left like one or so threads of a of tapered part of thread so I made it into a basically a bottoming tap we're just doing brass so this works is working very well to make a nice short thread only three eighths of an inch deep into my piece and it's good threads all the way to the bottom of that three eighths so this is a uh, this tap is working out this is uh, the the uh, tap holder that I took apart and showed you and I have a modified piece or I should say not really modified but 
I have a sized piece for this tap to be held in there. So we, we tap that, then we come around here. Now I have a stop. This is just a, a, my adjustable stop and I have a piece in here. You can barely probably see that. But there's the set distance. And lock the collet. Now I'm set to a length where I'm going to come in and I'm going to part that off. And there's my, there's my piece. And that will be stage one on that piece. And that comes in, we part it off, and we start the whole process over. Part it off, come over, face it off, drill, 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 tap, tap. And so here's the finished part uh, at this stage. It's two and three quarters inch long. Actually, it's just a smidge over that, uh, so I can. Uh, work on this end. We're going to radius the, we're going to radius this end with a tit on it. There's our should focus up there. You can see the threads inside the counter bore and the small hole down in there. So we're making a pile of those. I'm going to run through the process. Uh, I've already parted that piece off, but I've realigned it, so we're going to do a little teeny skim cut with the parting tool, just as if we'd parted it off, and go through the rest of it. This is going to be real time. Part. Face. Center drill. Counter bore. Clearance hole. Tech drilling to clear the chips. Tap. We'll stop. Reverse. Now I'm going to clean up that little burr that came out while the tapping. And we'll advance the part, set the distance, lock, and part off. Come over face again. Center drill. Counter bore. Tap. Clean it up. Set it for the parting. Done. Ready for the next one.
So we've already parted, faced, set our tool. We've got to set it up really close there for clearance with our uh, long drills. Well that is, uh, I think, nine processes in about 30 seconds. You know, with uh, we have a part, face, set, uh, center drill, 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 tap, clean up the face, set the length, part it off, back to parting off. So uh, I think that's nine or ten, right? <laughs> Man, uh, and that's uh, pretty fast actually I think uh, for that it goes pretty good and uh, we're gonna crank out a bunch of these it looks it looks like this one except that it's the opposite this one has the parting tool on the right hand side where this one has the party uh, this one has the parting tool 